Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and in this video, I, I want to show you AWS Cost Explorer. So, what we'll do is go to the top here, and actually on the right hand side, we're going to click on the right and go to My Billing Dashboard. And from there, on the left hand side, we're going to look for Cost Explorer and then click Launch Cost Explorer. And this is where we're going to get to the AWS Cost Management Dashboard, where this is where we find savings plans, reservations, things like that. On the left hand side, click on Cost Explorer. And you can get this nice chart. And so the idea is you can change it from monthly to daily if you if you uh, prefer. Okay, you can change the scope here. Maybe we don't need six months. We can just go back um, three months here. So there's less data. It is a bit delayed when I'm clicking here. So it also could be just because I'm doing the daily instead of monthly. So you just have to be a little bit patient when uh, using this interface. You can change it to stack, line graph. You can kind of see the details there. It's not always clear like what others is or things like that. And so uh, you can drill down and there's like ways of applying filters and things like that. I always forget how to uh, do this because it's, it's bringing everything in. So you have to hit clear all first, I think. And um, Oh, you have to click into it. So like if you wanted to click into it and pick a particular service, we could go here and type in EC2 and say EC2 instances and then apply that filter. So now we can just see exactly that cost or if we want to choose like maybe just RDS. Okay. So, you know, that could be useful for you to see. But yeah, sometimes it's not always clear. And so what I recommend is just go back to your billing dashboard and from there, just go to bills, okay? Bills is really, really useful because here it shows you exactly every single little service that you're being billed for. You can expand it and see exactly where. If there you have other accounts, you can go into this side here as well and find spend that way. Um, but Cost Explorer is very useful. Just It's useful in a different way, okay? So there you go.